How to install the NCUV A3 Max UV printer? Remove the packing case after receiving the printer and put it on the event table. First, you need to check the printer and see if it has any damages during the transportation. Second, prepare the tools, one piece of cross glue driver and one piece of Allen wrench. Then open the carriage cover and remove the metal parts which used to secure the table and the cart. Charge the printer and check if the table and cart movements are correct or not during its initialization. Once the print shows ready with an arrow, it's okay to go ahead. Install the print header if it's needed. Move the car to left side by left button. Remove the six pieces screws to uninstall the carriage bin cover. Remove the cut cover screws and cut cover. The head is installed with four pieces head cables. All the cables are the same but need to be inserted into the print head in correct direction. Install the print head in correct direction as in the video. Secure the print head by screws and put all the dampers on. Remove the head cable securing sheet. There are left and right side head cables and each side has up and down direction. Install them on the head cable accordingly. Then need to fill the inks into the ink cartridges. Shake the ink, open the bottle, remove the sealed tin foil. Fill the inks per color label one by one. Please do not throw away the ink bottles, later you will need the activation code from it to activate the printing software. Use the network cable to connect the computer with printer directly. Find the future RIP installation pack and the software.
enter into their driver setting, senior vision pages, and you can see the main board number here. Here you can find the remaining volume. Open the website to register your account first. Then log in the website with your account and register as VIP. Find the board number in the driver and write it here. Get the ink ID from the ink bottle and write it here. Then you can get the authorization number. Copy the authorization number and add it to the driver. It means success when it shows 250 mm parameter for the color just to proceed it. If the inks are run out, they need to reactivate the inks. Close these pages after ink activation. Turn on the driver, use the fill ink function to pump the ink from ink cartridges to waste ink bottle. Check if the inks flow into the waste ink bottle like water or not. If so, it's okay. In that case, keep the fill ink function for 3 seconds, then stop it. Then do manual clean, enter, menu, head maintenance, manual clean. Next is the button function introduction. Up and down buttons used to move the play table up and down. Left and right buttons used to move the car towards left and right sides. Front and back buttons used to move the table back and forth. Test button uses to print nozzle test. Clean button used to clean print head. SUC button used to turn on or turn off the vacuum function of the table. Exit and enter buttons used to exit and enter into the pages. During the printing, exit could be used to cancel the printing job. Then print the nozzle test to see has has a nozzle condition. Lower the table down enough to avoid to hit the print head and move the card out. Lift up the table to fit with the correct print height, two to three millimeter between the printing material and head surface. Press test button to print another test for checking. Next. Next step is alignment. Start from the vertical check. They will print out two sides of the lines, up and down sides. Check if these two sides of lines matches with each other or tilted. If the lines are tilted, then need to adjust the print head direction. If the lines go to left side, adjust the print head on anti-clockwise direction. If the lines go to right side, then adjust the print head on clockwise direction. 
Loose the screw which secured the print head a little bit, then it will be allowed to adjust the print head direction manually. Tighten the head screws and print vertical check again to see if the printed up and down lines match with each other or not. If so, then it's okay. If no, proceed the whole process again till it's okay. The next is right and left adjust. It depends on your printing direction option in the base setting page, right or left. For example, when choose right print direction, then do the right adjust. It will print out some lines for each channel. Check channel by channel. Check which line is the best one. The colors of the printed lines match with each other. Then adjust the channel parameter by the best lines number. For example, now the CH1 channel parameter is zero. If the best lines number is minus two, then the CH1 channel number should be 0 minus 2 equals minus 2. Just remember the upper line means right adjust. The down side line means left adjust. After the alignment, install the card cover, carriage bin cover. Then it's the printing software part. Input the printing files that are the printing file position. Input.